Hey guys, Eric here with Project DIY. In today's video, we're up here in the top of the barn, up in the man cave, making some progress. Let me show you guys what we what we have been doing. We've been putting all this electrical in. I got a video out. Instead of using wire nuts, we're using these in another style as well to wire these outlets together. It makes it so much easier and quicker, especially for a DIY wire. You don't have to worry about, when you use the old style wire nuts, you had to twist everything together, hope and pray that you got a good connection, because if it don't, one comes out, then you have issues. It's it's not safe. I, there's gonna be just some debate, some kickback. I've, I've heard some electricians that hate these things, that hate the ones that flip up like the other style, you push in and then flip it back down. You know, teach their own. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm wiring up this outlet. It's gonna have four. It's got three wires coming in and then I'm putting a pigtail off of the outlet, which this is a four, a four opening, a four wire. So we'll have this all the way full, but I'm gonna show you guys how we're using this as opposed to all the wire nuts. And these are much slimmer than the wire nuts too. Look how much smaller that is. I would probably have something like this size to fit all them wires together and thread this on. So I'm gonna have three of these in there inside that box as opposed to three of these. These are much smaller. So guys, let's get into this video. Hopefully it's helpful for you guys and it will help you out when you're doing multiple wires, wiring things together. All right, so here's what we got going. We got our three wires. We got what this is a wire coming in that's feeding on the power this is the other wire going across to our other boxes down the wall and this wire actually goes up i have some up in the ceiling and that's where this one comes in so i have three wires minimum but what i want to do is i'm going to make a pigtail for our outlet and so that's going to make a fourth wire so let me show you guys the process of what i'm doing here and this will give you guys an idea of how you can do it for yourself First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these back a little bit. I ran a little bit extra. It's always a good idea too, so that way you always have a little extra. But I'm gonna trim this back because if if I don't trim this back, then I've gotta try to push all this wire back into that box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it back to about here. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna cut this coating that's on here. Be careful when you're cutting. I know some of you might be freaking out that I'm gonna cut my finger off. I won't, I promise. Do be very careful because it is it is very easy for it to slip off of though. I have, I ain't gonna lie, I have cut myself doing it before, but just be careful when you're doing it. Pay attention to what you're doing. Obviously, I mean, makes sense, but you'd be surprised the people that'll come back be like, oh, I got shocked. Well, make sure your electric is not on right now. Do not try to do this with the power on. Have I done it before? Yep. Have I got shocked before? Sure thing. So that is why I don't have it on. It is not a fun experience. There are some situations I guess that kind of might call for it, but it's a good idea and a good practice to make sure you go flip your breaker. We're gonna take and we're gonna strip these. You don't need to go real far. You don't want to, see here's the thing. So this is gonna go back up in here. From there, you don't wanna strip it back too far to where you have that, once that wire is pushed in, it's hanging out the bottom of it because it, once you have that hot wire and it's hot, guess what? You touch it here, it's still hot. So you want all the stripped wire to be up in there. It's about like that, okay? That's about as far back as I strip them. And you can even kind of hold it up there to see what you look like. So once that's fully seated, see, I want it to be all the way up it because it will go all the way up in there to the top of it. It will be fully seated and I will not have any of that copper hanging out, which is what you want. And same thing as usual i'll put in the description some wire strippers if you don't have wire strippers you need to get see a good pair of wire strippers that makes tools make all the difference in the world if you're trying to do this with a razor knife can you do it yep sure i've done it before or some other type of tool it works but the wire strippers make all the difference in the world mine don't cut very good i, I think i've hit a actually a, a live wire there you can see it, it didn't shock me because it's got the rubber handles but i hit i forgot to flip a breaker and it kind of put an indention in there. Now it doesn't cut very good. So you can see when it comes together, see that spot? It's not supposed to have that. But anyways, description below, some good wire strippers. I've had these for a long time. All right, so we have all this strip now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and one of these, you're gonna need three of these if you have three wires, like a black, a white, and a ground. If you had a red, a full wire, then you would need uh, four of these, one for each wire. So with this here, we're gonna put all the grounds on one all the whites on one and all the blacks on one so you want to try to get this to, so you're not fighting it as least as possible so you're going to take it hold it there and then just take it and push it on okay all right so i push that in so now let's take a look at it see how that is all the way at the point okay you want it all the way up there sometimes you'll push it in and it goes in and it, it grabs a hold 
but it might only go to the bottom to like the tip of my finger like halfway up you don't want to do that if it does do that and it does sometimes what i've done just take your take your wire strippers here on the very end where it will grab and just grab it right here like this and then just take it hold this like that and then just push it on and it will go up the rest of the way there's no rhyme or reason of what order or what hold that you particularly put the wire in just want to make sure that they're fully seated let's get all these in here and then once these are in here then we'll make our pigtail for the outlet so that there i can't get my hand in there very good so i'm going to take this here and see that shoved it all the way in so now we have all three of these all three of the grounds those are good to go we'll do the whites here let's grab the whites throw all these in same thing i can't really grab a hold of it so let's take this here it latched, but it's not as far as I want it to be. I want it to be all the way up there. Now it is. All right. We've got all those in. Now let's grab our black. All right. So all three of those are wired in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our outlet. Here's what I like to do. You have two hookups, two, and then your ground. Okay. So this is the gold's always your hot, silver's your neutral, your, your white, and there's your ground. So what I want, it's just me. I always, when, if I'm only going to be using one this time, I always screw the other one in. I guess you don't have to. That's just what I like to do. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a section of wire here. Let's cut it down to about here. And if I need to cut it more, I always can later. All right, so take your knife and just cut a slit all the way down it like that. Okay, we're gonna peel this off. That's gonna give us our three wires for our pigtail. All right, obviously this one here, not a whole lot has to be done. It's already stripped, but we are gonna make a, we're gonna make a hook on one end. I'll show you what all that's gonna be for here in just a minute. So let's take this, grab it with your end. Okay, just grab it just like that turn it over because that's going to hook over our outlet there so I'm spin that just like that okay doesn't matter where you start i'm just going to start right here with the the hot black is the hot this hot goes on to the gold so we're going to take that put it on there now when you put this on it turns clockwise to tighten it you don't want to put it on this way because it's it it it's not going the same direction as it's tightening like if i to get this tighter i gotta squeeze this way not this way so you want to go and put it on with the way that you're going to spin it see it's going to spin that way so i'm going to put it on that way then i'm going to grab this here and i'm just going to kind of pinch that loop around so it can't even come off even if it's somehow that screw gets loose it can't come off so i cinch that back around on it like that and if you can see that loop i notched it around on there now we're gonna take our screwdriver and we're gonna tighten that down. Okay, just like that. So that's nice and tight now. And we'll flip it over. Same thing, make sure, cause and I want mine with the ground down just like this. Mine will go in the hole like this. I know some put them that way. I can't stand it that way, but to each their own. So I'm gonna put it this way. So same thing, we're gonna loop this on cause it's gonna be spinning that direction. Lastly, we're going to, and then same thing with our ground here. Lastly, we're going to put it on. Same direction that we're tightening it. Screwdriver. There we go. So we have that there. So now, all three of these. So we've got these. Here's our three that we have. Now we have the three that can be pushed onto there. So I'm, this is just what I do. I point them up like this here so I can get them started. White to whites. There we go. That one's all the way in. Let's get our black in here. And then lastly, let's get the ground on here. There we go. So that right there has got everything hooked up. Your whites, your blacks, and your ground. Okay, they're all in there. So now we're going to take them. We're going to get them all pushed back in here to where we can get our box. Back in the box, rather. Get them back in the box. And then we'll get our outlet spun around here. And then it's secured onto our holes. This will be ready to go, which we need to spin it. Okay, take our screwdriver. Let's get it started here. All right, so there we have it. We have our three wires with the pigtail, so the total of four. There's your outlet installed. Everything's nice and compact in the box. Everything fit really good. So guys, the next time you're putting in some outlets, uh, instead of maybe using wire nuts, uh, think about maybe using these they do sell them i believe 
in smaller forms that was a four that was a, the four wire i think they still even sell them in two or three um, do check in the item description below i will have the links to those two things so you can pick those up if you need them i may even throw if i can find the others i'll put them in the description below as well for the the smaller ones but guys i hope this has been helpful for you too if you do have any comments or if you know somebody that does electrician work send it to them like i said send me your replies if you have any you don't have to be ugly. I get a lot of people that say a lot of ugly things, and that's fine if that's what you want to do. But I'm here to try to help the DIYer, the people that you're not a professional, but I can help you do some things to save you some money, save you the time, because I know getting a contractor out is not the easiest thing to do. They're busy. I get it. But if you can do it yourself, you save yourself a lot of money, you save yourself a lot of time. So that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm putting this content out, is to help the DIYer, the homeowner that maybe wants to try to do something themselves. Like I said, this is electrical, so if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Hire somebody if you don't feel comfortable. But if you're uh, pretty comfortable with the electrical side of things and you want to try this yourself or experiment with these here, hey, let's try this tip. Maybe it will help, it, help you out with electricals or even maybe light switches or something like that where there's a bunch of wires coming in. So guys, as always, Appreciate you guys watching. If you would, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, share the videos. And as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY? Thanks for watching.